It is the differences between the frequencies absorbed that are important in carbon NMR spectroscopy, rather than the actual frequencies themselves. Because of this, a standard is used to enable absorptions to be compared for different carbon environments within compounds. The most common standard used is tetramethylsilane, TMS. In TMS molecules, there is only one unique carbon environment, and all carbon atoms have a relatively high electron density around them. This is because silicon has a lower electronegativity than carbon, meaning each carbon atom doesn't have electron density pulled away from it. This gives a high electron density around the carbon's nucleus and shields it from the external magnetic field used in an NMR machine, making it slightly easier for the spin of the nucleus to be flipped, meaning low energy radio waves of a lower frequency are needed. In all other organic molecules, carbon won't have such a high electron density around it, as it's rare for carbon to be bonded to other atoms with a lower electronegativity than itself. As a result, a carbon nucleus in an organic molecule has less shielding around it, meaning it experiences more of the external magnetic field during NMR, making it slightly harder to flip the spin of the nucleus meaning higher energy radio waves of a higher frequency are needed compared to the carbon atoms in TMS.